We moved our boat south by sea. Then we moved her to the sandblaster by land. Now we are going to move her to our new location by air. <laughs> no, really, we're just pulling your chain. Of course we're not flying our boat. But today we are moving her to the new place you like the most, thanks to TransP for making this possible by partnering with us. Our Patreons for your ongoing support and of course subscribers like you. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see the Lahakai fly one day, click that button, like this video, and ring that bell. It's a totally free way to keep the journey alive. This is Luke, and I'm Lori, and we're just two regular people like you, with a dream so big to build and learn and sail that has taken over our entire lives, and we're taking you along for the ride. Hey all, we are at the Sandblaster right now, and today is the day we are moving the Lahakai. We have already moved her out of the hangar, and she is going to her new place. We're super excited because it's not raining and it's very very hot here but at least it's not raining yesterday we we did have a lot of rain and here's the driveway we've already spoken with the owner to see how we're gonna get out of this driveway and hopefully it won't be the same uh, drama as it was when we got here so we're waiting for the truck right now it's a little late but you know late is on time in Brazil <laughs> We are going to be moving her and then you'll see her in their new place. Our truck has arrived as you can see him parked over there. There's already a lot of traffic here because they have some road construction so the main highway is closed down and they have to go on this like side road here. So we are going to be, we're going to be interrupting this traffic and making it even worse. But they're parked here, we're waiting for the lead car to come and over here they're getting the boat ready. They already have all the straps on the boat and getting her ready to go as far as this driveway. We've already had major discussions with how we can get out better and we have a plan. Well, they have a plan. So let's see what happens. And in this episode, you're gonna see us getting the Lahakai out of this dreaded driveway into a new location all the perks of our new place, and Luke also finds another boat that needs saving. But will he abandon the Lahakai? So here we are again. It's kind of what we're good at now. After all, practice does make perfect, right? And we've had enough practice moving this boat around in every conventional and unconventional way so far that this move feels like a walk in the park.
everything's getting tied down, everything is getting squared away. Have a big, really good team here. So I came in here real quick because I wanted to show you. These guys are loading up all of this wood. Wonder what it is, big spoiler. <laughs> what is it, you know? So we wanted to take all this wood with us and we're loading it up onto this truck. This truck is gonna come with us. It's one that put the boat onto the trailer and actually it's gonna be the one to take it off as well. So it's coming with us with all of this. It is blazing hot in here. It is super humid day. It's probably gonna rain and I hope it doesn't rain on our way. So let's go. already on its way we were filming so now we are trying to get on the motorcycle and catch it on its way the life of a youtuber right oh my god guess where we're going yet? It's here on the outskirts of town. If you were one of the many who voted for this option in the last episode, we couldn't agree more. It had all the right elements and a great vibe, and we're sure the Lahakai will do well here. thinking, all right already, I'm ready for the Lahakai to be completed for sailing or converted to van life. Either way, we need to pick a direction and stick to it. Well, we couldn't agree with you more. We eat, sleep, and breathe this construction. We wake up in the morning with this project in our mind and our dreams are filled with us finally in the water. All this intense metal work took us around six months, but then all of these logistics, planning, moving, planning, moving again, has taken us even more than that. We would never have imagined that so much time would pass just trying to get her to the place that was suitable for finishing her build. Sometimes this project has been less about how to build a boat and more about how to be patient, resilient, resourceful, creative, forgiving, and most importantly, how to maintain your eyes on a goal that never sits still. Rain. 
absolute perfect timing. Our trip has, couldn't be any better, couldn't be any faster, we're in shock. It's really amazing actually. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the team at Transby. You have never failed us, even when things were hard or difficult things came up. Never give up, always professional, always had all your workers had a smile on your face. Super, super thanks to getting us to every single destination that we've needed to get to in Brazil so far. So, And now we're actually gonna check out the, the owner's son's new boat. Huge. Sailboats are all dreams in themselves, each and every one of them, a manifestation of someone's desire to see the world in a different way, even the ones that are still just ideas. And for us, it's really hard not to let our imaginations get carried away. You can guess which boat this is. Let us know in the comments below. All right, look at this cockpit. It's kind of cooler than ours. I have to admit it. <laughs> it's enormous. It has to be like, it has to be 56. No? 56, that's my guess. What do you say? 46. 46? Enormous. It's very. The beam is enormous. It's super cool. What do you think? Should we start from zero? This is a pool. Oh my god. Oh my god baby. <laughs> Can't pause. Look. gonna stick with our boat. What do you say? I think I've, I've had enough of some construction. I want some sailing. No? Looks like he wants more construction. I guess somebody else likes projects more than we do. <laughs> Makes me feel good about it. <laughs> Keep saying it's really nice. I think he's insane. <laughs> Look at this thing. Looks like he picked it off the bottom of the ocean. It's super cool. And the inside's well preserved. I mean, the, the, the seal's well preserved. <laughs> but I can't imagine starting it over. Looks kind of nicer than ours. It does have a keel. I don't know where it's located. But he showed us a picture of a keel somewhere. Look at this thing. It's ready for war. And we swear the Lahakai won't end up unfinished in a yard somewhere in the world. She's got a story to tell still, and it's just getting going. We arrived to this amazing breeze happening. It's just a way better uh, environment here, and we're really happy to be right on, on the river here. Just looking over, seeing, seeing a little nature going on. It's the best location yet. We're super happy to be here. Let's get going. Let's get this construction done already. Let's let's paint it. Let's electronics, plumbing. But really, I want to get to the wood interior because that's everybody's favorite part, right? Mine too. I cannot wait to see it in a livable state instead of this state. So maybe we should just like do mental before and after pick right here. Dee. <laughs> oh my God, I was filming that other thing. Oh, and now look, they're on the way out without me. 
Let's fly the drone. Ah!